Welcome to this video. I'm Lieve Bijmes, also known as Lily Biri. Here I want to explain why it can be useful to replace a simple action by a standard advanced action. Confused by the word simple action? No problem. We'll show you what I mean. The video shows the Captivate 6 interface, but my explanation is also valid in Captivate 5 and 5.5. You see a slide with two buttons. I will use the simple button to show a photo of Grace, which photo is initially invisible. Moreover, the photo has an audio attached that will start to play when the photo is getting visible. The standard button will do the same. Show the photo and start playing the audio. But the result will be different, and that is what I want to show you. To see the difference more clearly, I have put a smart shape on the slide that shows the value of the system variable CP info current frame. I will start by creating the simple action. In the properties panel, accordion action, I choose the statement show and point to the photo grace with its attached audio. This photo was initially set to invisible in its properties panel. Now I will configure the button standard. In the same accordion action, I choose execute advanced actions, which will open the dialog box. I already labeled the action show st. Only one statement is needed, the same as for the simple action show Grace. I save the action and close the dialog. Let's preview the movie. First, I'll try the simple button. Watch the number in the system variable, 46. The playhead stops at this frame because the button has its pause at one and a half second with a frame rate of 30, this makes 45 frames. When I click the simple button, the photo shows, audio plays, but at the same time the playhead is released and at the end of the slide the next slide slows up. I hope you did see the variable changing. We'll replay the slide. Photo will remain visible. Watch the system variable changing. Did you see? I will replay the movie now. This time I will try out the standard button. Watch the frame number and the system variable. Did you see that the number didn't change? It's still at 46. The playhead was not released by the standard action. Whereas it is released, playhead continues if you use a simple action. Knowing about this difference is very useful. In case you do not want the playhead to continue playing when you click a button or a clickbox for... I'm a bit of a freak and something is still annoying me. Once the buttons have been clicked, the photo with the audio is visible, the buttons still seem to be active. When hovering over them, their state will change. If you have chosen to show the hand cursor, it still will continue to show. If you are also a freak, this can be solved easily for the standard button. Just add a statement to the advanced action either to disable or to hide the button. This is not possible for the simple button. In case you stay on the same slide by stopping the playhead by another interactive object. Watch how I edit the action show ST triggered by the standard button by adding the statement disable button.
Let's preview. Once the standard button is clicked, it is disabled. Doesn't show the hand cursor anymore and no states. Whereas the simple button gets its states all the time. Oh, I hear you. What about the toggle button that both shows and hides the image? That will be another video or perhaps search on my blog.